Hello, I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube. Thank you for joining us for our Pacific update. And we're tracking a lot of low pressure in the South Pacific at the moment. It's not so busy in the Northern Hemisphere, but uh, certainly down here in the Southern Hemisphere in the Southwestern side, there's a lot of low pressure stretching all the way from the Coral Sea right across to French Polynesia. So that's a good few thousand or several thousand kilometers. And we're seeing low after low after low forming in there. Some of them, as we saw in the past week, around Vanuatu and near Fiji, almost a tropical cyclone, just didn't quite officially get there, but it was right on the edge of it. And we're seeing another one coming up this week around the Cook Islands, but Samoa may be the area that gets the most amount of rain. Let's have a look at Thursday's setup. So not a lot of rain actually on the map. I know it's all blue. Uh, we've got a blue background and the pale blue that you see here, those are just little isolated showers. The real rain is in this yellow gold shading. And so, Downpours are forming, certainly, around north of the Cook Islands and around Samoa, and a little bit around Fiji. Mostly um, not overly windy. These low pressure zones aren't deep enough to cause a lot of wind, but there's a lot of high pressure in the New Zealand area. That's the reason why there's a big easterly flow going all the way off to Australia, and that is capturing up places like Tonga and New Caledonia um, with that easterly airflow. As we move through to Friday, and that's Fiji time, obviously one day backwards if you're over here in the Cook Islands, that's where this low starts to deepen. And you notice the rain clouds, they get bigger and larger uh, right across both sides of that low pressure system. So from Samoa over to the Cook Islands, that's where we're seeing most of the rain, but even northern parts of Fiji also seeing some wet weather coming in around then. So by Saturday, that storm is moving quite quickly away from the Cook Islands. So there's some good news in there. It's not going to affect Tahiti very much. Maybe a few showers in the mix there, nothing too serious. And because this is now moving mostly away from where people live, uh, wind isn't going to be much of a feature. So there's still some rain. And obviously that red line being dragged down means that truly tropical heat is coming down. So if you're going away there on holiday, at least it's going to be nice and hot. As we go through to Sunday, that storm well down now into the Southern Ocean, or at least getting close to the Southern Ocean, I should say, moving out of the tropics, but we've got more low pressure behind it, worth keeping an eye on. There's no storms in there in the sense of a cyclone. Thunderstorms though certainly will be lining up with the heaviest of the rain. So by Monday next week, the next low parked over the top of Suva, the capital of Fiji, you've got rain, and showers forming from that system, and maybe uh, some gustier winds starting to form. Just depends on exactly where the center of that uh, low is. There's another low south of Samoa, another one over here near the Cook Islands. But even though there are three or four centers, maybe another one up here, they are basically all connected into one big kind of blob of low pressure. And so that's the reason why you're not really seeing one major storm. The energy is just being shared across those other lows and that kind of spreads the load. It takes the energy out of being one storm and spreads it out. So you don't end up with necessarily a tropical cyclone, just lots of thunderstorms, downpours, areas of rain. Our final map for Tuesday for the South here still shows the same setup, low pressure, low pressure, low pressure, and a lot of wet weather is in that Samoa area down towards about Fiji. All right, the seven day animation for the Northern Hemisphere, usually we, we take a good look here at what's happening around Hawaii and a lot of high pressure in the Hawaiian area. Low pressure further to the north, very stormy in this area here usually anyway, especially the Bering Sea, that's where they film the deadliest catch. And if anyone who watches that knows it is a stormy, stormy place around the Aleutian Islands. So the other uh, feature is Japan. Getting a real mixture of weather over there at the moment, but Tokyo actually not looking too bad at the moment temperature wise. So to make sense of everything, let's consolidate it into one image, and it is this one here. Shows the seven day rainfall. So around um, Hawaii, you're in that sort of pale blue shading area, one to five millimeters, basically nothing on the way. But the heavy stuff right here over Samoa, up here, that's where you're up to that 300 millimeter mark, and that heavy rain, all that low pressure dropping down towards the Cook Islands, you're into that sort of 100 to 150 millimeters in just a week. And Fiji, even parts of Tonga, caught up in that same low pressure zone. So it's not necessarily a storm, maybe a little bit stormy around the Cook Islands, we'll keep an eye on that one. But elsewhere, it is just tropical wet weather, not as dry as some of you might want for this time of the year, but uh, we're certainly seeing a fair bit of heavy rain this time around. And that is all from me for our seven day Pacific Island outlook. Thanks for joining us. 
We'll see you again next week, hopefully on Tuesday. We had technical issues yesterday, all sorted now. So we'll see you on Tuesday.